Oh, oh, my goodness. It's that time again. GP, where are you? He's up here, Happy. Oh, oh my, oh, I'm under control. I'm under control. I was just practicing my snorkel breathing because that's what you and I really need to do if we want to do any serious looking underwater. What you do is you, you put the mask over your eyes and your nose like this. You then put the snorkel in your mouth like this. And uh, you breathe through... Well, you can't hear me that way. You breathe through your mouth. That's so you won't get any water up your nose. Oh, now make sure you get somebody who knows how to do it to help you the first time. But once you know how, it's easy. You can snorkel when you're swimming. So you can look down through the water, see the sand on the bottom, see the rocks, see the fish if there are any. Even see your toes if you're standing up. Snorkeling is great fun. But of course, Hammy Hamster had never heard of snorkeling. And I don't think he'd be very good at it anyway with all that fluffy fur around his face. So while Hammy really wanted to go down and talk to the fish because he'd heard so much about them from Turtle, all he could do was keep on saying to himself, wish I was a, over and over again. You know that game. We all play it every so often. It goes like this. Wish I was a bird so I could fly. Wish I was a fish so I could swim underwater. I wish I was a big kid so I could ride a, a big bike. Well, Hammy played it too. Like on this particular morning, right here on the riverbank, when Hammy Hamster sat watching his friend the turtle having so much fun. The adventure began one day as Turtle was doing one of his favorite things, swinging back and forth on his wonderful turtle swing, swinging way out over the river and then swinging back again. And there were Hammy and Martha watching that wonderful swing go back and forth, back and forth, waiting for Turtle to do his great turtle trick. Oh, Martha, I wish I was a turtle. Oh, Hammy, you're always wishing you were somebody else. Look, I think Turtle's going to do his trick. Oh, there he goes. And look at the way he dove in the river. I wish I was a turtle. And there he comes, swimming back just like a fish. I wish I was a fish. Oh, you wouldn't make a very good fish, Hammy. You don't swim well enough. Wish I was a swimmer. Hi, folks. Boy, that was fun. Sailing through the air, having a nice swim. I, I wish I was a turtle. Hey, where's all that music coming from? What's that? I can't hear you with that loud music playing. Where is all that music coming from? That's Granny and the Bunnies practicing their song. I, I wish I was a Granny. Well, that music's too loud for me. I think I'll go over to GP's. Maybe it's quieter over there. And I'm going to swing and dive and swim some more. Bye. I, I wish I was almost anything except me. Pretty soon, Martha arrived at GP's old mill. Howdy, Martha. Nice to see you. Uh, uh, why, uh, why am I seeing you? Well, I was wondering what to do about Hammy. He seems kind of unhappy. Always wants to be something or someone he isn't. Yeah, seems like he's got a bad case of the wish I was -es. Yes, he wants to swim like turtle or under the water like a fish. Well, uh, I might just have an idea. Let me take a look around at my old garage. You mean in all that junk? 
Martha, Martha, come on out here, see what I found. My goodness, what a lot of stuff in here. And look at that wonderful thing. It's an old school bell. Why don't you turn the uh, light on so you can see it a little bit better. You see, uh, we can put a little window in it and uh, make it so the water can't get in. And that way, uh, Hammy will be able to go under the water with it, just like, uh, like Turtle does and, and, and like the fish do. Hammy's going to love it. He's, oh, he loves adventure. Oh, wasn't that a wonderful idea? And maybe... Oh, that music's driving me crazy. That's been going on all morning, Martha. It keeps getting louder and louder. Why does Granny play so loud? Merrily, Granny, that's very loud music. What's that? Did you say this is very nice music? The music is too loud. Not so loud. I'm sorry, Mr. Frog. I can't hear you. The music's too loud. <laughs> By now, GP had cleared all his junk from around the old bell so Hammy could get to work. Gosh, GP, this, this is a terrific idea. Ah, uh, Hammy, uh, what do you think, eh? Uh, will this make a diving bell or what? Well, GP, it, it looks like all it needs is a little work. I, I wish I was an inventor like you. Well, uh, <laughs> nobody can be as clever as I am, Hammy, but, uh, well, uh, you can sure give it a try. But, but do you really think I could? Of course you can. Just look around you. There's all sorts of uh, stuff you can use. Look at all my wonderful junk here. Hey, maybe I could build it. And you can build it right here. Yes. Yes, I could do it. And, and I could put wheels on my diving bell and drive it around just like you drive your car. Well, uh, I don't know about that, Hammy. That might make it too big to get out of the garage door. Oh, oh, GP, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started. And listen... What? What? The music. I don't, I don't hear any music. That's right. That's what I mean. That, that loud music of Granny Rabbit's has stopped. By Jove, Hammy, you're right. I wonder what happened. Ah, uh, very restful when the music stops, Granny. Well, the bunnies had to have their nap. Just look at the little darling. Hmm, very lovely when they're quiet. Perhaps I could wake them up and they could sing for you again. Ah, uh, no. Uh, don't bother. <laughs> better to let the little dears sleep, I suppose. Yes, much better. Well, uh, Granny, why do you play your organ so loudly? Well, the bunnies don't sing very well yet, so I play louder to help ah. them. And then the bunnies sing louder. Mm. And then I play even louder because they're singing so loud. Uh, yes, but... Uh... And then I play even oh. louder. Granny, let's try this. If you play very quietly, then the bunnies will have to sing quietly so they can hear you. Oh. And you will have to play even more quietly so that you can hear them. Why, what a wonderful idea. Well, we'll just have to try it. Wake up, Bunny. Oh, no. Please. Annie, Franny, Danny, Lanny, everybody get ready to sing. Oh, oh yes, boy. Granny, here okay. we come. Oh, okay. boy. Oh, what, boy. What song are we going to oh, sing, boy. Granny? Well, I'll start off with Row Your Boat again, of course, and then you sing. Okay, now? Shh. Yes. Shh is good. All right, Annie. Shh. Not too loud now. Danny. Shh. Now, Franny. Shh. And Lanny. Shh. Ah, oh, Granny, that sounds very nice. I can hardly hear it at all. All right, children. Music time is over. But, Mr. Frog, I will miss playing loudly a little bit. Well, tell you what, Granny. You save your loud playing for when there is an emergency. You know, when somebody's in trouble or lost or runs out of uh, ketchup or something. 
Then I'll play the organ as loud as I can, and everybody will know that we have to get together to bring help. Exactly, Granny. <laughs> Hammy poured his heart into the diving bell project, and very soon the old school bell took on a very different look. Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Ah, uh, there's only one thing wrong that I can see. Those wheels, those wheels are just too big. You'll never get it out the garage door. Oh, oh, I, I, I hadn't thought of that. Well, you be careful of my garage door, Hammy. And Hammy got back to work. Soon, the diving bell was ready except for blowing up the tires. You want some help, Hammy? You want me to take over? Uh, it takes a real expert, you know. Uh, no, 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 thanks, GP. I, I'd rather do it all by myself. Well, gosh, Hammy, it's a big job and you're such a little hamster. Hammy? Uh, Hammy? You sure you don't need help, Hammy? I'd sure like to help you. But Hammy had the situation well in hand. He pumped and pumped and the wheels the wheels got bigger and bigger. Then, as Owl watched in amazement, Hammy climbed aboard and started up the engine. But remember? Remember how GP had told Hammy that the wheels were too big? Well, maybe he was right, because look what happened. The bell just took the garage with it. just about everywhere. Bouncing through the woods, speeding over the grass, just missing trees. And finally, finally, finally it shot right off the riverbank and splashed into the river. And look, that wooden garage was floating all by itself down the river because, because it had left Hammy's diving bell behind. And Hammy was in it. And Hammy was having a wonderful time. Hey, hey, this is, this is terrific. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? No, no wonder Turtle likes it so much down here. It's wonderful. It's terrific. Hi, fish. Hi, fish. Look at me. I'm underwater, too. And while Hammy was having a wonderful time, GP had managed to drag his old garage out of the river and was taking it back to where it belonged. There. Well, I'm not sure my garage enjoyed the ride. I just hope Hammy's enjoying himself. I guess he's still underwater. By now, Hammy was beginning to worry just a little bit. Sure, fish were fine, but Hammy was beginning to miss his riverbank friends. Hmm, well, it sure was fun getting down here. Now, now I have to think of a way to get back up. Hey, fish, any of you know how I can get back up to the riverbank? 
But the fish just wriggled their tails and shook their heads. Sorry, Annie, we don't know how to get up there. Well, maybe the fish couldn't help Hammy, but Hammy had friends who could help. And GP had a feeling that Hammy might be in trouble. Hey ho, I feel a rescue coming on. Sure hope Hammy needs rescuing. Hey frog, are you home? Are you home? I'm up here, GP. Where? Where are you? You're hiding on me. Up here, you silly guinea pig. Up where? Come on now, come on, come on. Up here, what's this all about? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, there you are. Well, I think Hammy's in trouble, that's what it's about. Hammy's underwater in his diving bell, and he's been down there too long. Too long. Who? Hammy, that's who. Who? Hammy! Oh, it's you, Owl. Now, stop hooing. This is serious. GP, would you call this an emergency? Well, I certainly would. Well, then we'll have to get everybody together for a meeting. Owl, can you hear me? Owl, fly as fast as you can to Granny's and tell her to play music really loud so that everybody can come to a meeting. Tell her this is an emergency. And Owl flew to tell Granny to sound the alarm. Hammy needed help. Yes, it was an emergency. And Granny played that organ loud, loud so that everybody came running to the Riverbank meeting place. And they sat and talked and figured out the most wonderful way to help Hammy get out of the water and back up on dry land where he belonged. And before you could say, wish I was a, this is what happened. There was GP, way up in the sky, flying his wonderful balloon, and Turtle was with him, hanging, hanging on that rope. Yes, GP and Turtle were on their way to rescue Hammy. Hurry, GP. Good luck, Turtle. Hang on, Turtle. We'll soon be there. The sooner the better, GP. Oh, I hope Hammy's all right. Oh, yes. I'm sure he is, Martha. Just don't you worry. Well, I just can't sit here and wait. We'll save you, Hammy. I can see your bubbles, Hammy. Don't you worry. Careful, Martha. Don't you fall in. Meanwhile, Hammy was getting just a little bit worried. Well, well, it's nice enough being down here with the fish, but... Fish, fish, oh, how I wish you could come up and play with me. But what's this? It looks like Hammy won't have to be worried much longer, because GP to the rescue, in his balloon, with Turtle on the end of the rope. Good luck, brave Turtle. Go get him, Turtle! And Turtle did his trick again. Wow, Turtle is in the water with the rope. Look at him go. Go, Turtle, go! Hi, Hammy. Hi, Turtle. There. See what Turtle's doing? What's happening? Just watch. There. Turtle has tied the end of the rope to the top of the diving bell. And now, GP is making his balloon fly higher. My mighty brain has done it again. Not to mention my mighty balloon. He's, he's pulling the diving bell out of the water. It looks like GP and Turtle have done it. Yes, they did. Boy, I'm being rescued. I just love rescuing my friends. It looks like Hammy's just fine, flying through the sky in a diving bell. Ooh. 
boy, I, I've never been flying in a diving bell before. Where will I tell my friends about this? And later, everybody got together at Granny's to tell Hammy how nice it was to have him back safe and sound on the riverbank. And Granny made a little speech. Hammy, we're so glad you're safely back from under the river. Oh, we're all so happy to see you again because, well, we like you just the way you are. We're so glad you just want to be yourself again. Remember how silly it was to want to swim like a fish or swing high and dive deep like a turtle does? We love you just the way you are. And guess what? I have a story to sing to you. Oh, goody. Hooray, a story. Fine. Oh, boy. I love story. I really like story. A story. Oh, boy. Now, this story is about a lion. Can you imagine it? Ready? Have you heard the story of the lion? The lion was a crying lion and why was the lion crying he was crying because he wanted to be a horse well this is the story of the lion the lion the crying lion it was bad enough just having to be a lion but being a crying lion was even worse he cried and cried, and then one day a crying horse came his way. The horse, it seemed, was always crying because, you see, he wanted to be a lion. Now the two sit together crying. The horse, the lion, they're crying because it's such a bother. Not to be, never to be, not to be each other. And from that day on, Hammy was happy to be a hamster. Turtle, he was happy to be turtle. And Martha was always happy to be a mouse. And everybody on the riverbank was happy to be just who they were. G.P. was especially happy he'd rescued Hammy and that his garage was back in place and that all his old junk was piled up so high that, well, <laughs> that's another story. 